glass. Oh, so fragile, but something found in the sea may change that. The sponge lives very deep in the sea where there is no light. It survived here for billions of years, and it's made of glass. And the house that you can throw stone at in, in any way, and you cannot break it. In fact, it's one of the strongest glasses known to man. It uses every structural feature we know in mechanical engineering, but at the scale that is 1,000 or 10,000 smaller. Chemist Joanna Eisenberg is studying how the sponge is formed. Individual needle-like glass beams make up the basic structure. Each of these are about thickness of uh, human hair, actually half of a human hair. Today, architects use fiber-reinforced cements, bundled beams, and diagonal beams to reinforce building columns. You can see it in the Eiffel Tower in Paris and the Swiss Re Tower in London. Engineers hope to use what they've learned about the formation of the sponge's glass beams to help create better, stronger, and cheaper materials for the future. As I think scientific research is evolving, we're now starting to explore and understand more of what nature does every day very easily. And understand how nature can create what man can't. I'm Cynthia Dimas reporting.